everybody. How y'all doing? To the Martin Luther King Jr. Shoreline and the East Oakland Collective's Untold Stories of Oakland Black Elders event. Today we're in East Oakland at the Martin Luther King Jr. Shoreline for the Untold Stories of Oakland Black Elders event. Today our goal is to activate the shoreline by getting people here for the first time or in a long time and also getting people to hear the highlights of untold stories of some of our most beloved Oakland Black elders. Today we're honored to highlight two sets of elders. One is a local advocate, Phoenix Magrum, who does a lot of transportation advocacy with the East Oakland Collective. I was raised between uh, Virginia and, and New York City. The years in Virginia was obviously under, under Jim Crow at that time, and that was a good time. At that time, I mean, we really had community. Whether, whether a person had a PhD or, or was a laborer, we all lived together, and everybody knew each other. When I lived in New York, nobody knew each other. One of the most significant parts of my life was I, I was a civil rights worker. My civil rights work started when I was a junior in high school. Back in the late 50s, um, we would boycott uh, uh, Woolworth stores. We would walk around with our placards. And back then, we were just uh, demanding a clerk's job. You know what I mean? At about 50 cents an hour, 75 cents an hour, some, some low wage uh, entry level kind of work. And uh, so that was my uh, first bit of activism. You listen to me now. I, I've been working with younger folks doing some political stuff. And so one day the kid said to me, you know, OG, I don't want to hear a word you got to say. I said, brother, I, don't, I forgot more information than, than you, you ever know. And you're going to let me die and, and, and not give you what I got? And the second set of setters are my grandparents, Betty and Michael Thor. And they would be talking about their legacy of bringing their family to the shoreline and how they want to set legacies moving forward. I was born in Alameda, California. I came to Brookfield at five years old and I stayed there until my 20s. On my block on Stalford, it was multicultural. There on 98th Avenue, there were an awful lot of black businesses. Most of that area off of 98th was nothing but farmland, both sides. We even, even on a little past, uh, what do you say, Eads Avenue to Louisiana Street, all of that was pretty much, they had livestock there during that particular time. But Oakland area had got a uh, lot of nice parks. So what does this place mean to you? Um, I'll start with you, Duchess. What does it mean to you? Like, how did you start ha coming here? And yes, let's talk about that a bit. We started coming here in the early 90s. My brother, my husband, Michael, and um, my um, cousin. They would come every morning. We do a, a once a year family picnic, and this was the place, the second place that we chose. And it was beautiful out here. All this grass was green. We had been coming here for years. They really pretty much growed up coming here. Uh, jet skiing out there, water skiing, and they love coming out here. It's so important to have these sort of open park spaces nearby our communities. It just adds so much to the um, the beauty of the area. It's really nice to have the Mobile Visitor Center here from the East Bay Regional Park District and the folks who are here to teach people about environmental education and all of the great open spaces that are available and accessible to our communities. And then we had some people here from the recreation part of the East Bay Regional Park District teaching people about fishing and that important activity in our parklands, especially near the shoreline. Some of the other people participating today gave us a little yoga lesson. Bend your knees. Now look for those trees behind you. Press your hips forward. So really happy that the East Bay Regional Park District is partnering and uh, sponsoring with the East Oakland Collective. Well, the East Oakland Collective is a community-based organization. We mainly focus on economic development, neighborhood and transportation planning, housing services, um, and civic engagement. Some of the issues that we try to address um, are mainly um, displacement and um, cultural loss of, of cultural connections. Um, so we address that by events like this, you know, bringing uh, the untold stories of Oakland's black elders um, really highlights the history, um, the rich history of East Oakland and um, gets the younger community members involved in, in that history and, and hopefully inspires them to uh, carry on the, the, some of these traditions, really. 